Well, hey everyone. It's Amber, an interpretive naturalist for Lake Metro Parks, and we are here at Concord Woods today, actually to look for turtles, but we stumbled across this Canada goose nest in the process, and I just wanted to show you because I think it's really cool. Obviously, the eggs are hatched, so um, hopefully the mama and her goslings are out there thriving in the park somewhere. Anyway, um, Turtles of Ohio, we actually have 12 species. We don't have all of them here in Lake County, but we do have a handful of them. And the most common ones that you're probably gonna see here are Midland Painted Turtles and Snapping Turtles. I bet if we look out into this beautiful habitat with a lot of vegetation, um, we might see some out there. See Midland Painted Turtles love basking on logs on sunny days like today. And we might even see some Snapping Turtles out there um, they're usually basking or sometimes they like to submerge themselves completely in the water. Oh, and you know what? It looks right over there. There's a huge snapping turtle out there on that log. That's actually really cool. Now, a little bit ago too, I was fortunate enough to find a Midland painted turtle close to the bank. So I was able to net it so we could take a look at it up close. This is our Midland Painted Turtle, and you can see the uh, yellow and red streaking on its neck. That's how we know what kind it is. He has this nice shell here, hard shell. This top part's called the carapace. And these little individual plates here are called scoots. Now, as the turtle grows, he'll shed these different scoots, just like a snake sheds its skin as it grows. The bottom part here, is called the plastron. Now this hard shell is very good at protecting the turtle. You can, it's kind of moving around a bit right now, but he can pull his head, his legs, and his tail completely in there so it protects them just like a rock. But even though they have this nice shell protecting them, they still need our help. See, all of our turtle populations here in Ohio, they aren't all thriving and surviving. Um, and that's mainly due to their biggest predator, which is actually us human beings. Um, one of the reasons that they are struggling to survive, some of the populations or species anyway, is because when they are born, these turtles are only about the size of a quarter, which is so small. They're so adorable. Um, so poachers will go out into the wild, collect these turtles, and sell them to pet shops so people can purchase them as pets. Now, if you're going to have a turtle as a pet, you just want to make sure that you do your research know where the turtle came from, and then also understand all of the care that goes into having that turtle. Turtles can live a really long time, um, 30, 40, 50 years, so they're going to be a part of your family for a while. If you get tired of having it as a pet, you can't just simply put it back into the wild because it's not going to know how to survive. It's not going to know how to hunt um, or anything like that. Now another thing about our turtle friends here when they're really small, um, raccoons are one of their bigger predators. So with their tricky little fingers, they're able to easily pry the shells open and they like to eat the meat inside. Um, so with raccoons, their populations have increased for another reason um, that humans are a predator of, of turtles here, is as our populations grow, we are developing more land into housing developments and shopping centers, even roads and highways. And a lot of the times that land is habitats like this that turtles thrive in. Our ponds and wetlands are being filled so we can build on them. Um, so we wanna make sure that they have plenty of space so they can survive and thrive in the wild. Now also, um, litter is another issue that turtles face. See, small bits of paper and foil like this can look like appetizing food items to a turtle and it's not very healthy for them to ingest that. Plastic soda rings like this, a um, turtle could somehow crawl in there and it could get stuck on its shell and as it grows, its shell will become deformed and this might be stuck around that turtle for life, which isn't really healthy for the turtle either. One last thing is that right now our turtles are moving about to different ponds, searching for different mates at other habitats and they might be looking for places to lay their eggs, which um, could mean that they have to cross a road. Now, as we know, turtles aren't very fast creatures, but cars, cars are really fast. And they don't always stop when they see a turtle crossing the road. So that could be an unfortunate accident for our friend here. Now, 
if you do happen to stop to uh, help a turtle cross the street, you just want to make sure that you're placing it in the direction that it's going and not where it's coming from because it will try to cross that road again. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today at Concord Woods here to talk a little bit about turtles. Uh, my name's Amber. I'm an interpretive naturalist for Lake Metro Parks, and I think this guy's ready to go back in the water. So we're going to release him. Hopefully we'll see you guys again soon.